I got my first guitar when I was nine years old and just put together a punk rock band. We recorded four songs, sent it to clubs, got gigs. I managed Jason's career early on. I guess you could say I'm the one who discovered the elbows. I think a lot of young artists make the same mistake. They don't know how to say no. I didn't know how to say no. They kept on saying, we need more skin. We need to see more. Roll up your sleeves, show more skin. Have you seen these things? They're like, they're like porcelain or something. They're just, they're, they're, I can't even describe these things. I mean, you've seen them. First time I've seen it, I noticed that before his face. And I always say the face, the first thing you see, I don't see that first, I see his elbow, yeah? Uh, I had immediate respect. They're like the perfect object, but on someone's arm. These people don't understand what it's like to walk into a room and have everybody look down there. My eyes are up here. Once, about five in the morning, Jason called me and said that he was really distraught because he'd finally met his hero, Margaret Cho, and all she wanted to do was suck on his elbows in front of everybody. If it wasn't every day, I think I could handle it better. But they're just always trying to get close. They're always trying to take pictures. Aside from it being good looking, it's got power, right? A real, you want to leap out on a space shuttle with it. Yeah, I don't like to talk about Jason like he's a piece of meat. People say, well, what's the big deal? So people want to get close to you, so people want to get close to them. But they don't understand. I've been photographing elbows in rock music for 37 years. The great Peter Dennis Blanford Townsend. Iggy, 1977. Willie Nelson, 010. So can I see him? You gotta be careful with sexy elbows. It's not like sexy back or something where you, know, you can have lots of it. Elbows are, you know, sharp. To me, the elbow really defines a person in a way, don't it, if you think about it. Yeah, I mean, those things are unbeatable. It's, it's sick. Once I realized how much joy they brought to people, I was able to let go a little bit and, and, and give them to the world. The people want them. Who am I to, to hold that back? Who am I to keep that from them? I'm, I'm just a musician who has something that people want to see and, and feel and touch. And It's only part of him. But it's all of them too, isn't it? There's no like tea culture here really, is there? Speaking of, I like a cup of tea, so around here. Alright, cheers, yeah. Very nice. 